What's going on YouTube? X Red X Pency X here, bringing you a video. And today I'm showing you guys how to cheese the Templar, and so that way you can get the other chest that is down, and where you get the Spirit Bloom chest when you take that little cave. Um, it's not very hard to cheese the Templar actually. I figured it'd be kind of tough because the guys that we were playing with said it was kind of hard to get him around that little block that you just seen right there, but. Uh, you're actually I was standing in the wrong spot at the beginning because I'd never done it before But you go right here and what you do is you have warlocks throw fusion gr or yeah fusion grenades Right there and it actually pushes him back. You don't break his shield or anything And you just keep throwing him and just he keeps on moving back. You'll see, slowly see him move back it it takes a little bit of time, but it could be a lot worse, but you see we got him around the block now and I'm just going to go ahead and stop talking and then you pretty much see how to do this part and I'll just let you guys see it and then whenever we beat the Templar I will uh, show you guys where the next chest is. So as you guys can see, we are getting ready to push him off the map. He is practically at the very edge. And the team that I was playing with, the way that they had done it before was they had always broke his shield. And if we did that, he would have actually ended up teleporting. I think it's that nade right there. Yeah, it's that nade that knocks him off. And I'm like, wow, you know, that's crazy that that pushes him back, you know, that far. But it really does work, guys. And I hope this is very helpful. You can use this, share the video. And now I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys where the next chest is. I got the Praden's Revenge right there and I never really heard about it because I don't think really any of my friends has it and uh, that was the first I had it so you just go up here in the Spirit Bloom chest and uh, I'm sure most of you know about that but if you didn't you learn another and 
there you can see all of us are anxious to get down there each of us is jumping on each other's head we're trying to hurry but I think that pushing the Templar off the map was honestly easier than Atheon because Atheon moves around a lot and if you do not get him positioned in the right spot it is very 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 hard to knock him off the map you at least have to have two warlocks doing Atheon and you have to have two warlocks to do the Templar or it would take so long what you need to do is like if you don't have your super you need to you don't need to be running fireborn you need to have the one where it where you get the unlimited grenades and stuff I can't remember the name of it but um and you need to run it so that way you can just throw a whole bunch of grenades and you can notice one part you know I used my super in the beginning and then I was waiting on grenades to regen and I was taking cover and you notice one part you know just kind of close and the next part he was just way back there and that was because the other warlock that was in the game pushed him back so far using that super and it's just all or not yeah using the super and it was just crazy how far he actually pushed him back but I'm pretty sure that I'm almost to the bottom here and I'm gonna show you guys where this next chest is we heard that it was you could only get the chest if you uh, didn't allow anything to sacrifice or anything like that or didn't die and didn't allow anything to sacrifice and stuff like that or it's PSN only but it was a lie right here is the chest on Xbox One I hope you guys enjoyed the video please don't forget to like comment subscribe my name is X-Ray I'm out peace